Welcome to Math of Juggling. We're going to be looking at the interplay between mathematics and juggling. Now at the beginning, it's not so obvious that there's much that connects the two together. But in fact, there's a, a beautiful relationship. As Ron Graham puts it, mathematics is the study of patterns, and juggling is the art of controlling patterns. So when we talk about math of juggling, our focus is going to be on patterns and talking about things such as how do we describe patterns? How do we find new patterns? How do we connect patterns together? And a lot of our time is going to be spent on saying, well, how many patterns are there? Now, as we go through and answer these questions, we're going to end up exploring a lot of corners of a wonderful topic of mathematics called discrete mathematics. Things such as, okay, how many ways can we partition things? How can we break things up? And we'll do a little bit of graph theory, maybe dabble a bit in algebra, and in general, do some fun stuff. Now, you could have taken this course and called it the Mathematics of Discrete Periodic Patterns. And that achieves two things. One, it makes the course somehow sound more important, but two, it also sounds less interesting. Ugh. Maths should not be made to sound less interesting. It's such a beautiful subject. There's so many wonderful things that we can do with mathematics. So it's important that we see how it all fits together. And so we're not just going to be talking about math. We're also going to see how we can apply it. And from time to time, we can take a break and do a little bit of juggling. Hopefully, by the end, we all learn something and we all have fun. Or, as you might say, let's all have a ball. All right. Well, hope to see you again.